How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another, with the last um, Kubi first impressions video of this um, um, package I, 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 I received, well I bought. <laughs> and um, let's just, uh, there's a whole bunch of things I'd, I'd like to say as usual, but let's jump right into the specs, shall we? Okay, before I open my mouth, it's a, um, oh man, it's a seven and three quarters. Yep, seven and three quarters uh, of an inch length, full length. The blade is exactly at three and a half inches and the cutting edge is at three and a quarter inch uh, length. Let's go with the weight. I just did it in Spanish, so let's go to ounces instead of grams. 4.17, let me see, 4.17 ounces. And um, let's go with stock thickness. Oh, oh, <laughs> let's go to inches. There we go. Stock thickness, uh, 110 thousandths or 0.11 of an inch. Behind the edge should be again uh, at around um, 12 thousandths. Uh, it says 10 thousandths, 0.01 inches, but you know, this is not exact. So I'm thinking um, point. Um, 12 thousands or 15 thousands you can really feel it uh, with your fingertips it is a liner lock with skeletonized um, stainless steel liners an open construction g10 a very nice g10 at that and hey I just noticed this um, Kubi doesn't have the pivot the with the brand with the KMB. That's okay. I mean, it's just a nice normal but nice looking pivot. Better than normal, I think. And uh, the action running on bearings and just sweet sweet action. Just uh, no difficulties there as you can see open with the flipper with the studs with the spidey flick no problems let's get a closer look so we can uh, do our comparisons okay there's our sharpie and uh, the US quarter and I was for I'm forgetting something right yeah the Victorinox Huntsman. There we go. I gotta change the color on, on the scale <laughs> so, I, so I see it because uh, it's right in front of me and I don't see it. So gotta put the red ones back. Well, buy red ones back um, so I can put them on. Um, here's the rat two and the rat one. So as you can see, uh, again, Kubi has really dialed in this this uh, mid-size folders, and uh, I really, really like this size. Let me tell you that this model, because <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I was so excited about so many things of the last um, the last model uh, with Camo that I I didn't tell you the model. <laughs> okay. The model here is the, the KU901, okay? Um, I will put, let me, let me take it out. I will put the model uh, on the description on the video, but this is the KU310, uh, 310, okay? Anyways, uh, with that, uh, having cleared that, let's continue <laughs> with the 901. There you can see the, the thickness, uh, scale thickness, and um, 
also in the plays. One of the things that I, I, I think I haven't, haven't mentioned in English, uh, but one of the things I, I really pay attention to are these uh, swedges and how these uh, geometries play with uh, lighting. I think I have said it anyways. So um, that's something I enjoy very much of any, any brand or any blade that does that. Um, let's go with the Endura, Spyderco Endura in K390. I just switched the handles with another one I have. And the QSP Penguin. So again, you see that mid-size um, folder that it's, it's just um, really nice, I think. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I'd really like to know. I mean, you know, I, I love uh, bigger knives, longer knives, um, but, uh, and I have started to, you know, enjoy smaller, uh, a few smaller things, but this mid-size is very um, versatile and very EDCable for most places or all places, I think, at least here in Mexico. Okay. Take this out, and um, I'm carrying my Lion Steel Kitano, which I love, love, love that shape, and my Spyderco Shaman. Again, you see, this is a, a smaller blade, but in this case, it's just a bit uh, longer. Then, for example, the rat or the um, the rat two or the penguin. I, you don't can't see anything there, right? There you go. So it's a bit longer, about half an inch. So again, um, just a good size overall. But I'm not talking about the Kitano, Professor. You're talking about the Kubi 901. And yes, I want to talk about it. There you go. Last but not least, the Buck 110. Let's put this away. And the, um, the Mora. Companion. I really, really enjoy comparisons. Um, I know some of you may get tired, uh, but let me tell you something. Here in Mexico, we don't have stores um, like uh, uh, Knife Center, like uh, Blade HQ, like DLT, like um, so many. We don't have those kind of kinds uh, of stores, and uh, so there really is no place where we can go and and get a hold of a, of a knife and feel the knife or the folder. And uh, so I have really gotten used to um, doing three, four comparisons uh, in order to solve that that problem. So. Um, I explain this so that uh, you can understand why I, I, I do things this way anyways. That's it for that comparison. And just a, a, a fantastic, this ramp uh, that Kubi uh, has also really, really uh, hit home with it is uh, very comfortable. This ramp uh, that many of their uh, models have for the thumb with the jimping a very subtle jimping jimping very comfortable uh, is is just another um, home run home home run for them um, ergonomically speaking no hot spots just a very nice very nice blade 
folder. Um, I love the belly on this thing. I, I love this this geometry. This is one of my favorites from this um, this uh, group of cubies that I just did. And of course, I have to fail um, with that opening because I'm recording. And that just doesn't happen when I'm not recording. <laughs> and there you can see the portability. I don't know if I had shown it. <laughs> I get distracted and man, focus, professor, focus. Sharpening choil and it's just, I really, really like this model. Um, why? Because it's a good all-arounder. Love this type of bellies. And it's just comfortable in hand. It's uh, simple, but a very functional, very functional folder. D2 Steel. And I hope I mentioned everything. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. This is... Um, the last of the Kubis uh, this time and uh, we'll see what comes next. I have a couple of um, other plates. Um, so, but anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Professor EDC out.